Now let's start for our third subtopic under the simple interest topic which is the accumulating and discounting. So it says here, the principal or present value P or the sum of money on the origin date is said to accumulate to the value of amount F at the end of T years or number of years. Likewise, the amount F is discounted to the present value P. So now what is the difference between the accumulating and the discounting part? So to accumulate is to find the amount F. So F which is the future value is also called amount okay so to discount is to find the present value p okay number one for example number one accumulate seventy-five thousand at eight percent simple interest for 15 years accumulate meaning we have to find for the value of f so yung given natin dito p 75,000, R is 8% or 0.08, T is 15 years. Using the formula for the future amount on the simple interest formula, F is equal to P times 1 plus RT, substituting for the value 75 times 1 plus 0 0.08 times 15. 0 0.08 times 15 is 1.12. 1 plus 1 1.12 is equal to 2.12. Then the resulting F or the amount is 165,000 pesos. Or another method, we have to find for the value of I in order to find the value of F. So I is equal to PRT, substitute yung tatlo, that results to 90,000 interest. Okay, so for the F, F equals P plus I. P is 75,000 and I is 90,000 so F is equal to 165,000 that is called the future value or the amount okay for the number to example compute for the amount if 24,000 is invested at 9.5 percent for five years okay for the amount meaning F na naman yung kailangan nating isolve Okay, yan yung tatlong given natin, 24,000 for P, R is 0 0.095, T is 5 years. Substitute, using the same formula, 24 times 1 plus 0 0.095 times 5, 0 0.095 times 5 results to 0 0.475, 1 plus 0.475 is 1.475, then F is 35,400 pesos, that is the amount. Okay? For the third example, if money is worth 12% simple interest, what must be invested now to have 69,000 at the end of 4.5 years? Ang tanong, magkano yung i-invest ko ngayon in order to have 69,000 pagkatapos ng 4.5 years? So, yung hinahanap natin dito is yung present value or yung principal value ng investment. So given R is 0.12, T is 4.5 years, then F is 69,000 pesos. So using this formula, P is F over 1 plus RT, F is 69,000 over 1 plus 0.12 times 4.5, 0.12 times 4.5 plus 1 is equal to 1.54, that is equal to 44,805 pesos and 19 centavos. That's, that is the present value. For the fourth example, what is the present value? So, sinabi na dito kung ano yung unknown. The present value of 45,000 pesos at 11.25% simple interest at the end of 240 days. Given yung R T and F natin, we have to find for the value of P using the same formula, F over 1 plus R T. So, since yung T natin dito is not in years, so 240 days, we have to divide it by 360 using the banker's rule for the value of T. Okay? So, F is 45,000, 1 plus R is 0.1125 times T, 240 days, 
over 360 days bankers rule. So res that results to 45,000 over 1.075 and 41,860 pesos and 47 uh, centavos is our present value. Okay? So that ends our third subtopic under the simple interest. For your questions, just comment down below.